Do you love tractors? Then this is the video for you. And if you don't, well, this is the video that'll convert to you. What we're saying is everybody will love this video because even if you have no interest in tractors, we all love it when something is big. And the tractors in this video are such beefy boys, you'd be forgiven for thinking they were transformers, robots in disguise. These are the 20 biggest and most powerful tractors in the world. Number 20, Big Bud 16V-747. Ron Harmon and his team at the Northern Manufacturing Company built the Big Bud 747 tractor in Havre, Montana in 1977. It had a 760 horsepower Detroit diesel engine with 16 cylinders. This huge machine was 27 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 14 feet tall. The United Tire Company of Canada made the tires to order, and each one was 8 feet in diameter. The tractor weighed more than 100,000 pounds when its 1,000 gallon fuel tank was full. The Rossi brothers in Bakersfield, California were cotton farmers when they first got the Big Bud. It worked well for them for 11 years. After that, it was sold to Willowbrook Farms and moved to Atlantic, Florida, where it was used for deep ripping. In 1997, the Big Bud went back to its home state of Montana, only 60 miles from where it was born. The tractor was bought by the Williams brothers of Big Sandy, Montana. They used it on their farm in Choteau County. The Williams brothers grew crops with the help of the Big Bud which pulled an 80-foot plow. With its new paint job, metal stacks, and more than 900 horsepower, the Big Bud is just as impressive to look at as it was when it left the Northern Manufacturing Company in 1977. The Big Bud 747 was officially named the world's largest farm tractor and continues to be a sign of farming power and engineering. If you love tractors more than anything, smash that like and give us a subscribe for more tractor tales. Now it's time for the strange topic. You've simply got to love the ambition so many people showcase during the planning stage. This image is some concept art for an upcoming Vietnamese prototype for a tractor some engineers over there have in development. We kind of think they've bitten off more than they can chew, if you ask us, because there is no way you can build a tractor this big. Sure, Vietnam has a lot of very large farms that could certainly benefit from a tractor of this scale, and yes, in theory, you can build something like this on a technical level. But we think the designers haven't thought the practicalities through. Imagine steering this thing. Imagine turning it. Imagine the environmental impact. There is a lot more to think about than we think they've realized. But hey, what do you think? Want them to finish making this thing? Or should they bail on production? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag strange topic. Number 19, Challenger 1050. The Challenger 1050 is a four wheel drive row crop tractor within the 1000 series. Its production by Challenger, a division of AGCO, took place in Markto Berdoff, Germany, starting in 2017. Powered by a robust 12.4 liter six cylinder diesel engine, this tractor boasts a continuously variable transmission, allowing for an array of infinite forward and reverse gears. The heart of the Challenger 1050 row crop tractor is the MAN engine, a turbocharged diesel marvel with a displacement of 12.4 liters and a cylinder bore of 126.0 millimeters. Coupled with a piston stroke of 166 millimeters, this powerhouse yields an impressive 524.3 PS at 1700 RPM for output power and 2,400 newton meters of torque at 1450 RPM. On top of its capabilities, the Challenger 1050 features power steering, hydraulic wet disc brakes, an air-conditioned cab, and a substantial 798.6 liter fuel tank to keep things going smoothly. What more could you ask for? Number 18, Wright 750 Earthquake. Tractor King Dave Curtis said that after 94 and 40 years, the giant Wright tractors are still going strong. At the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul, Illinois, the impressive earthquake tractor, which is one of the biggest, was on display. Since 1973, the D.L. Curtis company has made 38 200 to 750 horsepower tractors. The most recent one was made about four years ago. Curtis and his brother Jack were pioneers. Their Wright tractor was the first to have an Allison automatic engine with an infinitely changeable speed. Like the Model 404, 
these hinged 298.28 kilowatt tractors weighed 20,400 kilograms and were 4.85 meters wide with duals. Curtis gave users cool choices by using standard parts and adding new technology. These tractors often used large Cummins diesel engines, Detroit or Caterpillar engines, Spicer drivelines, Clark or Caterpillar axles, and bud type wheels. Over time, most were made with the innovative Allison automatic gear, which lets the driver set the speed they want. Dave Curtis is still ready to make more tractors if they are needed. However, a new Wright 750 with all new parts would now cost around $450,000. Number 17, ACO 600 Obas. The ACO 600 four-wheel drive articulated tractor is a powerful machine made by ACO in South Africa. It has an ADE engine with 820 horsepower. The tractor has 12 engines and is controlled at 2100 RPM. It runs on diesel fuel. It has a four-wheel drive system and a gearbox with 12 forward gears and four backward gears. ACO is a major player in the South African tractor building industry. In the mid-1990s, they invested around 3 million rand, which was about 850,000 US dollars at the time. The ACO 600, made by Alf Kutzer in 1994, is one of their most famous works. This amazing tractor had an AID V12 engine with 612 kilowatts. In the mid-1990s, ACO took steps to grow in more areas, but problems were on the horizon. Southwest Transvaal Agricultural Cooperative, which sells ACO products in South Africa, had trouble getting the tractors because component suppliers hadn't paid their bills. So, ACO's financial problems got worse. And in 1997, they filed for bankruptcy with bills totaling 27 million rand, which was about 6 million US dollars at the time. But in the last few years, there is a new hope for the ACO name. In 2012, Nick Venter, an engineer and businessman, bought ACO's rights with the goal of bringing back ACO Continental tractors. Number 16, Maritractor MT700. With its mechanical power takeoff, the MT700 crawler tractor stands out as the most efficient on the market. It works well in tough situations. Where regular mowers lose power, the Maritractor just gets down to business. The high engine power and mechanical PTO of the MT700 make these activities faster and more efficient, which lowers the cost per area. It has a fantastic diesel engine with a big displacement. This makes a lot of torque over a wide range of RPM. This lets the engine run at a low RPM when it's not under a lot of stress. This lowers the average amount of fuel used without hurting efficiency. The MT700 has a comfy, air-conditioned cab with a seat that can be turned 180 degrees. During work, the crusher can be leveled using double-acting, independently controlled lift arms. Also, the modular design with removable tracks makes it possible to connect different tracks based on the situation. Its steel tracks are very strong and can handle hard ground, while rubber tracks can go faster on roads. Double rubber tracks can be added to lessen the pressure on the ground in extreme circumstances. The rubber tracks are long-lasting and don't need much care, so they work well and last long. With its flexibility, speed, and ability to change, the MT700 is a really great crawler tractor that can handle tough farming jobs. The use of crawler tractors with mechanical power takeoff has greatly increased the amount of work that can be done in agriculture. Number 15, Fendt 1167 Vario MT. As the first tractor in its horsepower class with a stepless drive, the Fendt 1100 Vario MT sets a new standard. This is the result of Fendt having worked with tracked tractors for more than 30 years. One element that stands out is the cooling fan which is run by hydraulics and has its own hydraulic circuit. The fan does a good job of moving hot air away from the engine area, keeping the parts of the engine at a good temperature for working. With high-precision satellite technology, the tractor can be driven with an accuracy of two centimeters, even at night. The Fent 1100 Vario MT is different from the Challenger tracked tractors that came before it because it has a flexible engine and a new suspension. Even though it only has six cylinders instead of 12, the familiar Fent working environment and the continuously changeable Vario drive make it feel different from other tractors. By making changes to the engine and drive, Fend engineers were able to improve the tractor's performance and economy, especially at low speeds. Tractors have been around since the early 1900s, which is interesting. Benjamin Holt got the first patent for a tractor with tracks in 1904. This changed the way farm equipment worked and paved the way for track-based farm equipment we use today. Number 14, John Deere 9R 640 and 9RX 640. The highest engine horsepower of the John Deere 9R 640 tractor is 691, and the rating horsepower is 640. 
hence the name. It has an E18TM PowerShift transmission and fully integrated precise AG technology. The tractor has three cab and view models, select, premium, and ultimate. Each is made to meet a different set of needs. Visibility is one of the things that makes the 9R line stand out. The mirrors on the tractor are placed in a way that gives the driver the best possible view. It also has shades to block the sun, windshield wipers to keep the glass clean, and a built-in camera. It has 360-degree light-emitting diode lighting, making it easy for workers to work in any circumstances. Active Command Steering, which comes on all 9R and 9RX tractors, is another feature that stands out. The steering system has changeable effort resistance that changes automatically with ground speed. This makes it easier to turn at low speeds in the field and gives more input during transport, which makes steering more easy and sure. Advanced precision technology like the John Deere Starfire TM6000 integrated receiver and the Generation 4 Command Center TM display and the integrated AutoTrack TM assisted turning are also part of the 9R line. These features make the field much more efficient. John Deere, which was started by John Deere in 1837, is one of the oldest and most well-known companies that makes farm equipment in the world. The company's green and yellow tractors are known all over the farming business as a sign of trust and new ideas. Number 13, Case IH Steiger 620 Quad Track. The Case IH Steiger 620 Heavy Duty Wheeled Tractor is a strong piece of equipment made for large-scale farming. With its unique selective catalytic reduction technology, it has the most fuel-efficient power in the business, with engine horsepower ranging from 370 to 620. Steiger tractors have an efficient 12.9-liter FPT powertrain technologies engine in their powertrains. This engine meets Tier 4A and Tier 4B slash final pollution standards and saves fuel with SCR technology. This unique technology eliminates the need for active regeneration, meaning that running costs are 10% lower than with older models. With 680 peak horsepower, the Steiger 620 can handle the hardest conditions and the biggest tools. It has a two-stage turbine that makes it fast at low RPMs and gives it the most boost at high RPMs. The tractor also has a function called Diesel Saver TM APM. This feature automatically slows down the engine and uses less fuel when the need for power is low. Case IH, which used to be called International Harvester, has a long and interesting past that goes back to the 1800s. The red color that the company used on its tractors, Flambeau Red, became famous and easy for farmers worldwide to recognize. Number 12, New Holland T9.700 and T9.700 Smart Tracks 2. The New Holland T9.700 Smart Tracks 2 tractor is the best of the New Holland line. It has high ESCR Eco Blue technology that beats the latest pollution guidelines and gives it nearly 700 horsepower. This articulated tractor only uses this new technology. The entry level model uses the FPT Cursor 9 engine, and the higher end models use the more powerful Cursor 13 engine. The biggest types, which are not sold in France but are popular in other parts of Europe, have a turbocharger with both stages. The T9.700 rivals its cousin, the Quad Track 620. It has 700 horsepower and tracks made by ATI modular track systems that are called smart tracks. The T9.700 is made at the New Holland Company in Fargo, North Dakota in the United States. The rear three-point hitch on the tractor can lift up to 8,900 kilograms and has a category four drawbar. The information we have doesn't say anything about the front hitch or loader. The T9.700 has a powerful engine with a size of 12,900 cubic centimeters and a speed of 2100 RPM. At 1400 RPM, the highest power is 2940 Newton meters. The tractor has a diesel oxidation catalyst and selective catalytic reduction device to cut down on pollution and meet tier four rules. New Holland is a well-known name in the agricultural machinery business. For more than 125 years, they have been making new farm equipment. Number 11, Class Zerion 12650. Class revealed its latest high-powered tractors, the Zerion 12650 and 12590 on Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. With the introduction of the new Zerion 12 range, Class clearly aims to compete with Case IH's Quad Track and John Deere's 9RX and RT. Their focus is on crafting a machine that optimizes productivity, pulling power, and user comfort. Under the hood, they house a six-cylinder, 15.6-liter .6 Mercedes-Benz Ohm 473 LA engine, 
capable of delivering a peak torque of 3,100 newton meters. The highest engine power is achieved at just 1,600 revolutions per minute, thanks to a low-speed engine concept that originated with the Zerion 782 in 2007 and has since been refined. The C-Matic continuously variable transmission system empowers the Zerion 12 to attain a maximum speed of 50 km per hour in the track version, with dual tires up to 800-70R42 and 400 km per hour at 1400 RPM in the TerraTract version with TerraTrack 400 triangular positive drive tracks. Lastly, the hydraulic circuit enables a maximum flow rate of 537 liters per minute, utilizing three load sensing pumps. Turning to the cabin, Class prioritized user comfort with three key enhancements. Firstly, the cabin's size was expanded, drawing inspiration from the cabins of the Lexion and Trion harvesters, with an additional 27 centimeters at the front. The four-point cabin suspension minimizes vibrations, while visibility was optimized. Drivers can now pivot their seats 40 degrees to the right to monitor their tools constantly, and 10 degrees to the left. Number 10. Versatile Delta Track 620 and Versatile 4-Wheel Drive 620 the Delta Tract model 620 is equipped with several convenient features that make using it a breeze. The driver may relax in the plush conditions provided by the luxury cab package, which includes a leather seat, climate control, and a cab suspension. The cabin is the most spacious in the industry. The tractor's 620 horsepower Cummins 15 QSX engine provides ample power for all your farming needs. The Trimble GFX 750 with MAV 900 is an integrated precision farming system. The hydraulics are reliable, with a total flow rate of 208 liters per minute and load sensing closed center components. Caterpillar's TA22 PowerShift transmission has 16 forward and four reverse gears for optimal machine performance. The Delta Track Model 620 is equipped with hood, roof, and work lights, making it very visible even in low light. Farmers all around the world purchase Delta Track tractors from Versatile because of their reputation for dependability and durability. Number 9. Agco Challenger MT-975E The Challenger MT-975E, produced by Agco's Challenger brand, is a robust tractor with four-wheel drive. This tractor's 600-horsepower engine and rumored 425-horsepower mean business in the field. The inboard planetary end gears and electro-hydraulic differential lock on the tractor's articulated four-wheel drive chassis make for simple maneuvering. Hydraulic wet disc brakes and power-assisted responsive steering are standard. The tractor is simple to drive and stops safely every time. The 16-speed power shift gearbox in the Challenger MT-975E makes shifting speeds quick and painless. The pump flow rate is 85 GPM, and the system pressure is 2900 PSI in its closed center pressure flow adjustable hydraulic configuration. This ensures smooth functioning of hydraulic systems. Big 710-70R42 tires adorn the tractor that tips the scales at 21,546 kilograms. This ensures its steadiness and traction on any surface. The power plant is a turbocharged diesel 12-cylinder engine from Agco Power, rated at 600 horsepower and 2837 newton meters of torque. SCR technology ensures that it complies with emission standards up to Tier 4. One of the most robust and cutting-edge tractors available is the Challenger MT-975E. It's suitable for industrial-scale cultivation. Its high-tech features and powerful engine make it a favorite among today's farmers who value efficiency. Number 8. Versatile 1080 Big Roy Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada is the birthplace of the Versatile 1080 Big Roy tractor, an unrefined prototype still undergoing testing. There is nothing else like it in the world of machines. There are a total of 16 wheels on this tractor, including the 8 drive wheels and 4 axles. With a displacement of almost 19 liters, the Cummins KTA 1150 600 diesel engine is rather potent. Its 600 horsepower make it a veritable farming monster. A 12-volt electrical system powers the six-speed Big Roy transmission from Versatile. It has two batteries and can generate a total of 900 cold cranking amps. A diesel unit with six cylinders and a turbocharger provides the vehicle's propulsion. The Versatile 1080 Big Roy is an outstanding tractor due to its large size and high power output. The 775 to 813 centimeters diameter tires make it easy to utilize even in demanding situations. A tractor of the Big Roy style, a versatile 1080, was recently donated to the Manitoba Farm Museum. Number 7. Deutz Far Agro XXL 1630 Deutz Far and the German Tractors Union collaborated to create the Agro XXL concept prototype. Visitors from all around the world were stunned 
by this 600 horsepower tractor that was on display at Agritechnica. Thanks to the Agro XXL, getting power to the ground with massive machines is no longer an issue. Having an articulated chassis with four powered wheels allows for automated engagement and disengagement of the rear axle. The Agro XXL can go on roads as narrow as 2.85 meters despite its massive 32-ton weight. Oil-cooled and mechanically-assisted brakes are installed on both sets of axles. The tractor is driven by a 16-liter Deutz V8 turbo diesel engine capable of producing 600 horsepower and 2,800 newton meters of torque at low RPM. Working in any direction is simplified by the full power shift gearbox's 18 forward ratios and six reverse gears. Its load sensing hydraulic system supplies high flow and pressure to a variety of fittings. The cab is roomy and quite pleasant. The eye monitor and power comm switches are two of the modern components included. The cab is equipped with a passenger seat and air conditioning. It also offers plenty of room for storage and even includes a refrigerator. Number six, Upton HT14-350 two-wheel drive tractor. Even though it had been more than 40 years since it had been seen in public, the Upton HT14-350 tractor nevertheless drew crowds at some recent agricultural trade events. It was built by Carl Upton in 1978, and at the time it was the largest two-wheel drive tractor ever produced in a factory. Carl Upton set out to prove that a tractor with less than four wheels could achieve amazing results. After five months of construction, the Upton HT14-350 debuted at Agquip Field Days. It was more effective than larger machinery and could tow more than tractors with six wheels and two engines. Despite skepticism, it proved its worth by matching the performance of much more powerful vehicles with just 350 horsepower. There was no other tractor quite like the Upton HT14-350. It was the last product developed by Upton Engineering before the company shifted its focus to irrigation systems. David Bowden, the current owner, first laid eyes on the tractor in 2000 on a wheat farm and instantly fell in love. After looking at it for years, he eventually bought it. Number five, Big Bud 650-50. From 1980 to 1981, Big Bud sold the model 650-50 farm tractor. It had a basic cruiser cab with air conditioning. This huge tractor weighed 27,216 kilograms and had a height of 406 centimeters. Both the front and back had 35.5-32 AG tires. It had an impressive 650 horsepower and a fuel tank that could hold 2,649.5 liters. An 18.1 liter 12-cylinder diesel engine powered it. The 650-50 had a twin-disc gearbox with nine forward gears and two backward gears. It also had a 4x4 four-wheel drive wheel system. The Big Bud 650-50 stands out in the tractor world because it has a V-shaped engine with 12 cylinders, which is rare. This 650-50, which Larry Adelman owns, is one of only two left in the United States. Ron Harmon of Big Equipment used to own the tractor. After it was fixed up, Larry bought it to use on his farm in southern Michigan. Adelman has five Big Buds in his collection. He is a dedicated Big Bud collector. At the Alvorton Plow Days, the Big Bud 650-50 and another important Big Bud type the 525-50, both plowed. These events show off the power and skills of these famous tractors, which used to be the most popular high-powered tractors in the late 1970s and early 1980s. But because of problems with the transmission, only a few V12 tractors were ever made. This makes them very rare and highly sought after by fans. Number four, Case IH Steiger 540 HD. The Steiger 540 is a tractor that has great efficiency when it comes to the use of fuel. Its 12.9 liter tier 4B slash final engine is capable of producing 605 horsepower at its full capacity. The Steiger tractor can be configured in 42 different ways, enabling it to do a diverse range of jobs, such as transporting silage, snow, or huge pieces of equipment. In North America, Case IH FPT engines that use the latest Tier 4B slash final technology with SCR-only emission systems have racked up more than 36 million hours of operation time. The power drive, power shift, and the CVX drive continuously variable drives are the only two flexible transmission choices available for Steiger tractors. The operator station of the Steiger Surveyor is designed to be as intuitive and simple to operate as it is practically possible. It's a huge monster, and it doesn't make a sound. It is important to point out that Case IH was an industry leader in the use of selective catalytic reduction technology for the purpose of satisfying the emission requirements of Tier 4B final. 
Number three, Case IH 600 Quad Track Steiger. Case IH Steiger tractors are the best for farming crops because they have the most horsepower and can turn in any direction. The design, which was used for the first time in 2006, is in all Steiger models from the 400 horsepower row crop model to the 600 horsepower model that is the best in the business. The tractors with 400 to 500 horsepower have a 12.9 liter engine with a single stage turbocharger. The 550 and 600 horsepower tractors have a two-stage turbocharger technology that works best at different RPMs. There are many different Steiger types, like the 300, 400 slash CVT, 450 slash CVT, 500 slash CVT, 550, and 600. They have four-wheel drive power that can be used for many different jobs, like pulling big planters or towing grain carts. The Steiger tractors have wider wheelbases, which give them better grip and make the ground less compact. Also, they have the highest row crop tires on the market, which work well with Steiger 400 and 450. With four types to choose from, operators can fit the tractor power to the scraper system, whether it's a single or tandem carry-all or ejector. The Steiger quad track is the best choice if you want the most speed and grip with the least amount of compaction. The Case IH Steiger Road Track is a multi-purpose option for row crop and controlled traffic farming jobs that need to be flexible. It is a top choice among farmers because of how well it works and how much it can get done. Number two, RSM 3575. The RSM 3575 is a tractor from the Series 3000 introduced into production by Rostelmash in 2019. There's a strong demand for heavy duty tractors in Kazakhstan. That's why in 2021, Kazakhstan Agro Innovation Company, a partner of the manufacturer in Kazakhstan, started producing this series. The RSM 3000 tractors are robust machines suitable for power demanding tasks. This series includes four models with power ratings, 440 horsepower, 492 horsepower, 542 horsepower, and 583 horsepower, known as RSM 3435, 3485, 3535, and 3575. Rostelmash is the sole producer of tractors above 430 horsepower in Russia and the CIS. The high horsepower allows fewer passes per hectare, saving fuel and effort. The standard dual tire configuration reduces ground pressure, minimizing damage to the topsoil, the most fertile layer. Number one, Kirovets K7M. The Kirovets machines are easy to use and reliable, but they are also very efficient. Some of the best things about Kirovets' tractors are how easy it is to maintain and how well it can move off-road. Kirovets tractors have both traditional farming tools, new wide-cut plow systems, and seating equipment. In the K7M series, Kirovets tractors can till and plant up to 5,000 hectares of land each year, which is a great fit for large farming plans. A fixed minimum operating cost is guaranteed. Kirovets can be used all year long for the most difficult transportation and support jobs because it is so good at pulling and moving. Are you now dreaming of owning a powerful tractor? Which other tractors deserve a place on our list today? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.